Ladies and gentlemen, the game of chess has been around for thousands or hundreds of years. And because it is a simple eight by eight board with uh, eight different kinds of six different kinds of pieces that can do various things, people think all the combinations have been played and everything has been done in chess that there can be done. But there, that's not true and it never will be. At least that's what I'm told. There are millions of combinations that may have never been played yet. The following game I'm going to show you is one of the more amazing games I've seen in quite some time, and it was shared to me by one of my subscribers, my loyal subscribers. And by the way, if you do want to learn some of the lines played in this and the strategy used in this game, remember to check out my chessly.com courses. Um, I also want to thank my, my coffee sponsor, uh, Delicious, that I just drank from. Uh, I believe it's, yeah, it's New York sewage water flavored. And also want to mention uh, the Send of the Month Club uh, that you can participate in. Link in the comments. Ah, patchouli. Every month it has a variety of patchouli smells, which I absolutely adore. Anyway, let's get straight into the match. So my subscriber shared with me his thought process on this match. So I'm going to relay it to you as he explained it. And we'll go over the moves. Uh, now, Slappiest did say that this is not a normal quality level of game for the 750 to high 700s level that he plays at, and that he was very tired that morning. It was the first match of the day and hadn't really had any caffeine, so he should have subscribed to my coffee offer. Well, let's see here. So he started with the Queen's Gambit, and Slappiest said he plays this because uh, Every, almost everybody at his level plays the like fool's mate, queen attack, uh, aggressive put pressure with the queen. And he doesn't like to play that. He, he thinks it's lame that people only play that. And it's annoying to refute it. Uh, and it takes quite a bit of time. So he he's plays the queen's gambit. And sort of like this is uh, about taking that pawn is always good. And that now that queen move that that's about the end of what could be considered normal. Uh, that all of a sudden uh, put put the black at a disadvantage. They were suggesting he play the pawn and put pressure on the bishop. So sort of a random queen move, but the purpose of that comes into play very quickly. So Slappy has pushed the pawn, which is also a good move. Put pressure on the horse. The horse withdrew out of the way to a bad location. Uh, the suggested move was push the pawn. The horse withdrew to here. So potentially uh, taking the bishop, throwing the bishop. So Slappyish pushed the pawn to recover. Although the suggested move was actually to bring the horse forward and threaten the, that. Remember danger levels. So he did that. Now the queen came into play aggressively. That was the purpose of this aggressive move that didn't seem had to have any purpose. Here, Slappiest began to sort of panic, which isn't normal, but it may be post-traumatic stress from all the people who come out huge with their queen in this 700s level looking for the fool's mate type stuff. So here they're suggesting withdraw your bishop to here, sort of a transitional point, I guess, between what might need to be done. The other most suggested move would be to withdraw to here, which is blocking that, which possibly is a little more logical. Well, he decided to bring the horse here and say, I'm going to threaten that, and I'll give you a trade of the queens just to get rid of that queen out of, the, out of the table, off the board. Threatening that. So here they're suggesting queen take free pawn, which is what he did. So here they're suggesting bring your queen out to offer now a trade and to protect your rook and this pawn, but not that pawn. That pawn's protected by that. Well, he decided to bring the rook over and just say, you can have that pawn to the right. Who cares? So here, uh, so the ma massive 7.9 advantage for black. And they're suggesting take the rook. He took the pawn. Take the rook and put him in check. He took the pawn. Now the game's back to even. They're suggesting bring the horse back and put pressure on the queen, which he did. Amazing move. They're suggesting bring the queen up here to put pressure on the horse and potentially the queen. He went straight for, I want that horse. And this is scary because he's exposed on this side. He's not able to castle. Uh, 
you know, the king, the, it, it just is, it, it's scary. The defense is there, but the computer is actually showing white ahead right now. So they're saying, again, bring back your bishop, pointing right at the king. This is protected. Uh, he can't get to that. Well, he decided, okay, this is the time to start my development. I'm going to Fianchetto, the bishop here. Um, I'm tired of this guy picking on me from the get-go. So he moved that there. Now the game is swung back to black. He finally moved the pawn that they had suggested long ago, although now apparently it was a mistake. Apparently he should have gone with the horse and taken the bishop and done a trade is one of the suggestions. So now they're suggesting move the bishop back out of the way again and attack the queen. But he did, but he moved it, didn't move it the whole way. He moved it here. Uh, not sure why. I think it was to block the horse from being taken twice. Um, so he brought the horse forward. Again, a, a very swingy move for the, for the other direction. They're suggesting here, push this pawn. Push this pawn. Take away his diagonals. He brought the horse down. Uh, potentially giving some backup to the queen, I guess. So here they're, they're suggesting push this pawn. But he didn't. He did a very tricky, clever move and moved the horse here to attack the queen. They're suggesting bring the queen down one and keep the pressure on, which he, they did brilliantly. They're suggesting free horse right here. You Okay, you did it. You trapped it. That was your plan of bringing them here, of them sticking around too long and you adjusting your pieces, shuffling them around. That was the point of bishop to here. You now have it trapped. So what does white do? Brings the horse down again to threaten the queen and plummets. So they're saying free, they're saying free pawn because the queen cannot take it back because it's check and just continuing your decimation. They're already, you're already up two pawns. So they did that. Queen only has one place to go. There. Bring, push this pawn, put pressure on the horse. But he kept the super aggressive up, pushing the, the horse. They're saying move the king back to here, but he's like, no, no, no. I want my spot back here where nothing's connected. Bring the horse here. Thinking of things like uh, take, capturing that, swapping that, maybe a uh, very big advantage for black. He did that. He or she did that. The opponent, the black pieces did that. Again, now that now they say this is the best move. Uh, and he didn't. He's saying again, trade me your, I want this goddamn king or, or queen out of here. Swap me queens. Apparently, if the horse takes the horse here, it's a 16-point advantage because then this can't recapture. One of those is going to be lost. He Black decides to withdraw the king. And this is the beginning of sort of the second phase of this one of this legendary match. So now it's almost back to even. And they're saying, take the free horse. Well, it's not free, but take the horse. Decides to move it over to double up on the horse. They're saying withdraw the horse. He now they decide to uh, to take it and do the swap. Swap. Now black's ahead again, but not by a ton. They're saying bring the bishop out. But that Black loves their aggressive queen over here, putting psychological pressure. King under check. But no, go forward, protect that bishop. Double up on the support for the bishop. Again, bring this out. Put pressure, be willing to swap. Withdrawal. Sign of passivity. So at this point, uh, white's down to four minutes. Black's down to six. White's been thinking of some of these wonderful moves. Black really hasn't. Uh, they're saying sw swap the, the queen over to here, uh, put pressure on various lines, I guess, protect uh, that. But this is a tricky move here that the uh, white saw. Move the horse down here to reroute to here to reroute to there and put amazing pressure on that queen. They're saying push this pawn. Done. They're saying now move the queen over here, open file type thing. That, but the rerouting of the bish, uh, the horse is underway. White, black's pretty far ahead. Now that was a bad move, apparently. They are saying pawn forward. 
lock up this, protect this horse, lock up this uh, crisscross type thing, I guess. They decided they wanted to do this maybe to free up the development for the black bishop, the dark bishop. And apparently that was a big mistake. And now white should move the queen over again because this. Boom. Unprotected. Boom. Unprotected. Black saw the open file and said, Rook. Ah, I can get my Rook and get it up to here. Uh, they're going back and forth, but now they're saying, again, push this pawn. And they did that. They activated the bishop there. I'm not sure why they moved the pawn out there to activate it. Possibly they were worried about these on the white diagonal lines. Back to even. Again, move the queen over, open attack onto the horse. They did a variation of that. They moved it there, which apparently is a lot worse, but um, they finally saw it, apparently. Push the pawn, protect it. They're rerouting the bishop for some reason. Take the horse. Yes. So now you think, oh, white's dominating this game. This is over. But no, this wouldn't be one of my videos if that was all that happened. Uh, bring out the bishop. They decide to castle. White's massive advantage here. They've got this going boom. They've got that going boom. They've got this. they got these. they got open file there. they got that open. they got the horse. So white fought off that early incredible queen attack, and now it's positioned to re uh, take back over this game. Uh, they're suggesting putting pressure on the queen here with the bishop, which is protected. Queen doesn't have a whole lot of good squares to go to, but white decides, I'm going to use the rook to do it. Because it's always smart to bring a rook out before it needs to. Um, that's always very intelligent in chess. Uh, they're saying withdraw the queen to there. They don't quite pick the right square, but according to this, but okay. So now they're saying bring out the horse. Why? The queen can't take it. It's protected by the bishop. It can then go here, check, or here, check, although there's that very dangerous position for it. But white decides, I mean, now white only has two, less than two minutes on the clock here, so it's starting to feel the pressure. They have four and a half minutes. White decides, free pawn, take it, keep my pressure up, going here. Not terrible move. Uh, so now here, uh, here they're saying withdraw the bishop, basically. You've got a good position. But he decided to move the bishop down to here. I guess seeing this and hearing what Gotham has said about blocking that in, and there's some kind of checkmate here with the queen coming down, just dangerousness, attacking his structure, even though there is a queen and a bishop there. So apparently moving this out here and threatening this rook that has just been sitting there is a smart move. Done. White has played some brilliant moves this match. Now, this is one of the turning points in the match. White is down to a minute, a minute and a half, and is they've known they've played this absolutely horribly. Um, but actually, they're up in material, which is crazy. Uh, now, the white the rook appeared trapped here. Oh, take there a swap, take there a swap, move it back. But white sort of said YOLO at this point and said, I'm going to destroy this structure. I got all these bishops. I got all this stuff. I'm going to destroy the structure around that. And White said, said, YOLO, did a grandmaster level move, sack the rook. Immediately lost the advantage with pawn captures. Now, White didn't meant to move this rook over at some point to work on this file, to, to a pin this file, but it hadn't. So now the, the move is queen down to here, putting pressure on that uh, long diagonal and having the bishop and getting dangerous, putting under threat. White is at a minute now. White did that. Black here pushed the pawn. Not really sure why. Just keep the position going. Uh, they like your position. Bring the horse out again with thoughts of this and this. But white's in that YOLO mode. I'm going to block that in. I got that trapped. I got that. I'm, I'm actually doing great here. White's like, wow, I've got, there's some combination here. I can't really, there's only 45 seconds, so I can't really see exactly what it is, but I know I got something good. They're just saying push the pawn. Um, I guess that frees up the bishop and the queen. Now, apparently that rook move lost uh, black the game uh, because it trapped the queen and bishop. It, it led to a pinning on these and it trapped that and sort of destroyed all mobility. So apparently the purpose of these was to help free these up and to put pressure on this. 
So now the move for white is white bishop pin that, protected by the horse. But white is in YOLO mode of, I'm going for a checkmate. I got 45 seconds. So white said, I'm going to put the pressure on that pawn um, so they can't move it. Uh, and that just lost the game again for the white. Again, they're just saying, push this pawn, boot the queen. It's dangerous on that long diagonal. And now black has plenty of time to think about these moves. So they moved, they moved the bishop out. And that apparently just lost the game for black because um, it took away, I guess, the queen as a garter. They had double guarding going on there, something like that. So now the move, again, white, you have a pin on the queen and rook, move it to here. But white said, now is the time for the horse attack. And not over here, like was better suggested to protect that straight in. I'm trying to just open this formation. I know this is pinned. Apparently that was a terrible, terrible move. Uh, let's see. Can't capture there. That can capture, capture. I'm not really sure why that was a loser, to be honest with you, but that may be why he, he's at 750 level, but I'd have to look at it more. They're saying capture with the queen. Sack the queen, as they say. Because the maybe because these pieces are so trapped. Decides to put the rook there. Nice, nice, uh, nice move. Uh, and they're saying bring back the horse. Line this up. Uh, set something up here. Withdraw basically a little bit. Or they're saying uh, bring back the horse. Uh, bring back the bishop to here. But no, we're all in at this point. We're going YOLO. Twenty five seconds left. I'm going after, I'm going to break apart this formation any way I can. I got the queen on the log diagonal. I got three pieces here. Something has to be going on. Push the pawn and get rid of the queen, but they decide I'm going to attack the queen with the bishop here. So now it's a 50-50 game. Uh, they're saying move the queen to here to put pressure on this file and uh, I guess give protection to that. But no, we're YOLOing. Oh, no, here we pushed a pawn and apparently lost lost the game. We said, I'm going to boot that bishop. And this was 15 seconds left. Bishop, take pawn. No, nothing. Uh, they're saying sack it, I guess, if you have to. Queen retreats. Uh, why that was done, I guess, to, uh, to protect the bishop. Nothing's been, oh, okay, this can't be taken and this can't be taken. The swings on this are every move. Now they're saying bishop take this uh, because if if takes this, can take this. And you got it nice set up there. This is sort of cock blocking in some degree um, from progressing out. Their pieces are sort of blocked in and they do have a nice line here and here. 15 seconds left. Pawn takes a bishop, hanging this pawn, 50-50 game apparently. Queen should just retake that, but the bishop decides, or the rook decides to take the pawn here. Free pawn, I guess, there, um, and maybe to get this sideways action here. They have three minutes left. White's like, aha, I know there's something here. I have 12 seconds. They're saying withdraw the bishop again, put pressure on that, I guess, or wrap it back around. No, we're YOLO in here. Eight seconds left. Pawn take, free bishop. There's also a mate in six, apparently, or they can get mated in six. I'm not really sure. Uh, but they're saying free bishop, take it. But they decided, I want that horsey out of there. Opening up a queen with eight seconds left. The white said, I think that's a checkmate, but I'm not 100% sure, but I don't have any time, and won the game. And that, folks, is why we play chess. Thank you. Have a good day.